welcome to another episode of the Reluctant Sisters Podcast. I don't know, should I even call it that anymore? The Reluctant Knitters Podcast. I'm Adrian. I am the Reluctant Knitter, and you can find me as Reluctant Knitter with no E in the knitter on Ravelry and uh, the Reluctant Knitter on Instagram. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, to new viewers, sorry, my dog. To new viewers, welcome. I hope you like what you see. And to return viewers, thanks so much for coming back. So, I am podcasting today. And on Saturday, I'm going to Rhinebeck with my sisters, my two sisters. So, I'm really excited about that. So, um, this obviously will be a podcast. I just said that. Um, also, next week won't be a podcast. It'll probably be uh, the vlog of Rhinebeck and... Um, the, uh, haul. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get, but whatever I get, I'll show you. Um, I'm coming to you from Connecticut, the South Central Connecticut. Uh, I live on the shoreline and I live with my husband and my dog, Lizzie. She's a great Dane. Um, cool. I guess that's it. There's no podcast news because there's barely even a podcast. I'm drinking water because that's all I can drink with my Invisalign in. If I want to have anything else, I have to take it out. It's not worth it. So, staying hydrated in my Yeti, which I love. I'm obsessed with. Shall we start? I have no finished objects, so that, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not good. It just is what it is. I have nothing finished to show you. But I have some works in progress and I have some procurements, which um, my procurements were for my works in progress. So they're currently being used. So I'm going to show them to you at the same time. Okay, sorry. I just play with my camera all the time. If you're returning, you'll know that. So anyway, let's start with a whip you have already seen. Work in progress. This is my Elton by Hopi Locatelli. It is a fingering weight cardigan using fingering weight and mohair. So here it is from the back. That's my dog playing. So I have split for the sleeves here. And here. It doesn't really look like much with no sleeves, but Liz. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and then here's the front. So, when I was last on the podcast, I had done, um, like, the back portion, and then I had gotten one of the fronts done. And then I had, I still had the other front to do. So since the podcast, I have since joined them. Liz, stop. Oh my gosh. I have um, since joined them and uh, started knitting the body. Since my last progress picture on Instagram, um, I've just, I've knit from the stitch marker down. So, lot since the last podcast, not that much since the last Instagram progress picture. And this is a waffle with a little heart-shaped butter and syrup on it. I got this from Junk Yarn. I, I, don't, rem I don't think she made them. Who did she partner with though? Liz, um, I don't remember who made them. If I figure it out, I'll put it in the bottom, but I don't know if I'm gonna figure it out. But anyway, it was for Galentine's Day last year, I think. So there's a little bit of a story that goes along with that, I guess. Not really, I don't know. Um, so Galentine's Day, and it was like inspired by um, Parks and Rec. Uh, so anyway, she loves waffles, the main character, now I'm forgetting her name too. I can't remember anything apparently when I start podcasting. Um, loves waffles. So it was for Valentine's Day and it came with a skein of yarn, a contrasting color, and a pattern for Valentine's Day socks, which I knit, which were color work, 
which I knit too tight and they wouldn't go over my foot. So I ended up having to tear them out and I just knit them plain. That's just the way it is. So anyway, that's what that's from. Okay, so what I'm using, what I'm working with, what yarn I'm using for this. I am using Knit Pick Stroll Fingering in white, 75-25. And it comes in 50 gram balls, so it's 231 yards per 50 grams. And then the mohair is also Knit Picks Aloft in white. And this is 72% kid mohair, 28% silk, and it is comes in 25 gram balls and it's 260 yards for 25 grams. And I'm knitting these on my knit, Knitter's Pride uh, interchangeable. Melodies of life. I don't know, I showed them on my last podcast, so if you're interested, you can check them out. But I'm knitting this on a US size five. So after my swatch, I think I had to go up a needle size from the recommended needles in the pattern. And this is in my Woolen Vine bag. And like I said, it came with a skein of matching yard. I said this on my last podcast. I should have gotten it for you. Let me go get it because I don't have enough content ever. So, Hold on. okay. So I got the shawl. So this is what it looks like. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I don't, it's not like it's, these are not my colors, but I don't know why this just spoke to me so much. I just really thought it was really pretty. So, um, this was dyed to match this bag. So they came together and it also came with some stitch markers. And then, so this is called Ballroom Blitz and it is in the Volca base, which, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Actually, it says that I got it at, my Ravelry page says I purchased it at Gage Intention, but I totally didn't. I got it, I got it as a kit. So on, off the internet, off one of her um, updates. So that's a lie. But anyway, it's the Zilver Shawl by Lisa Much, and it is a one skein shawl. And I really like it, I was it free? Um, it's free, it's a free Ravelry download. So it has um, stockinette and then, I can't even remember how I created this stitch or what it called, I didn't create it. Um, <laughs> I don't even know how the stitch is created. Uh, but it's really cool because it starts off as one row and then two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows. So it's a very interesting knit. Um, kept me, kept my interest. But the, the ends are not like, um, they're just stockinette so they roll, which I don't really care about. I actually don't wear this shawl very often. Um, I don't know why. But yeah, so it's that. I may have talked about this on a previous podcast now because putting it on and looking at myself looks Probably familiar, but anyway, so that's that. Um, anyway, kind of went from here to there and everywhere, but that's that. Okay, the end, moving on to my next whip. So my next whip is a test knit for Mina Phillip of Knitting Expat Designs, and she's also Knitting Expat on uh, Ravelry and Instagram and YouTube, she has a YouTube video. I don't know what our YouTube channel. I don't know why I'm telling you this. Everybody knows who she is. So anyway, it's her waffle pullover, which I, um, showed a picture of on the last podcast. Um, I literally just started and that's why I'm going to show it to you again. Um, cause it doesn't look like anything right now, but that's, that's what it looks like. So I just started it literally, I cast it on this morning. So I'm gonna take this off because I'm kind of hot. Um, I cast it on this morning. So it is living in my Stitched by Jessa Lou bag, which I believe I got at Connecticut Sheep and Wool two years ago now, I think. Um, I love French. Um, I've never been to France, but I took French in school and I was also, um, did some French in my adulthood. That's why I met my husband was in a French class. So anyway, I have a fondness for French. So 
What's that? That's why I bought that bag. And the inside just has the Eiffel Tower, La Torre Eiffel, Eiffel, and hearts. Um, okay, so I am, this is how far I've gotten. I have one of the fronts done. It's being held on these, so you can't really see, but there's some increases here. So that's that. And then I started the other front. I have, I'm about halfway through, through I think, the increases for this front. I'm not doing anything today except cleaning my house and knitting. So it's a beautiful day and I kind of should go outside, but I went outside yesterday. Not that I only go outside once, but anyway, I took my dog for a walk yesterday. So we had a lovely time. So I don't feel that bad. And it is sometimes nice to just stay inside and knit and watch Netflix. So that's what I'm doing. So anyway, um, I'm going to join these today and we'll see how far I get. Um, the stitch marker is to mark this side the pattern calls for putting a stitch marker on. So this is not indicating anything. It's just a little sheep one I think I got from my sister, Amy. Um, okay, so I'm knitting these on my Chow Gu. These are 32 inch circulars, fixed circulars in a size five, which Nina and I have the same gauge. I don't need to change my needles. Um, that's the recommended needle size. I really love Chow Gu. Really, really do. I think it's probably my preferred needle. I don't, I don't know why. I think they're slippery enough, but not too slippery. I think their points are pointy enough, but not too pointy. I'm just a huge Chow Gu fan. I like the late, uh, the red lace cable. I love everything about it. So that's what I'm getting them on. Okay, so you need five colors for this. And like I said, it's a test knit, so it's not out yet, but um, you need five colors. So this is my first color. Um, and I chose to do it in a gradient and the pattern picture is gradient, but do what you will. Um, so this is palette, Knit Picks palette in custard. And I just put a little one on there because they only come in 50 gram balls. So I had to buy two and I just want it there when you'll see them together they're pretty similar in color so i just want to make sure that i knew which ones i wanted in which order this is um 100 peruvian highland wool so it's pretty um it's not soft that's all it's not rustic it's not rough but i think a little bit like i don't know if i've knit anything in 100 percent wool yet um it almost feels like a little bit like cottony kind of which i'm not complaining about i'm just describing it so this is color one, custard. Color two is cornmeal. Color three is safflower. Four is semolina. And five is canary. So lightest on the top going down to darkest slash brightest on the bottom. I'm really excited about it. I don't think I have like a yellow sweater in my wardrobe. Um, I, I really like gradients, so I'm excited to see how it'll turn out. Oh, I also wanted to show you, since I don't have very much going on this, the waffle texture pattern. The way that she describes it in her pattern is, um, pull it up because I could never describe it as well as she does says da, 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 da. it's engaging to knit but still vanilla enough to be great tv knitting and the intention of the sweater is to be reversible as well. So when it's finished, I'll see which way I like it better. Um, so I, all I've done was the swatch. No idea where I put it. I'll be right back. Movie magic doesn't feel like I left it all. So all I've done is the swatch, but it is in fact engaging to knit, but still vanilla enough to be great TV knitting. It is so interesting to, to me, this pattern. Like I read the pattern through, but um, it's like when you're reading, for me, when I'm reading a pattern, I, I cannot translate that in my head, like to what it will look like until I actually do it. 
So I do read patterns ahead, but for me, it's almost like, I don't think that it's really, I don't want to say not necessary, but I don't think it does for me what it probably does for other people. Because a lot of times I'm like, I don't understand. That's really confusing. I'm not going to know how to do that. And then I just have to tell myself like, Adrian, just shut up and knit it. Just shut up and follow the directions. And then I always figure it out. So I don't, but anyway, I still read the pattern ahead. But anyway, I want to hold it up against something because I don't want you to see through it. So that's the pattern. That's the waffle pattern. Is it upside down? Who knows? I really, really like it. Liz. It's cool. So I'm excited to knit it. I always say I'm excited. That's a good thing, actually, to always be excited about my knitting. I'm so sorry if I use the word too much. But anyway. So that's cool. And I'm excited. Um, this is my other swatch where it's just plain stockinette, but I totally, like, forgot to do my garter on, like, a few rows. Oh, silly. Okay. So that's that waffle pullover by Knitting Expat Designs. Okay. Um. Last but not least, it's actually. Um. It's actually not a whip yet. Um. So I guess I'll move on to your procurements. Um. I also got some yarn from. Uh, yarn for a sweater for my husband, which I gave that whole rigmarole story on my last podcast, but this is what it will be. The Nelson Pullover by Irina Anakiva. Right. Um, so after lamenting over the what pattern he wanted, he lamented over what kind of yarn he wanted, and he decided to go with Knit picks, swish worsted in copper. So I don't think he has anything this color. It looks good on him. It's just he generally gravitates towards blues and grays. Um, so I think it'll be a nice addition to his wardrobe. This is 100% superwash merino wool. It also comes in 50 gram balls. I don't understand why I don't just do 100 grams of 100 gram balls. Um, so it's 110. It's worsted. Did I say that? Swish worsted. I did. Um, so it only takes about 100. Um, it's not really 100, but it's a lot. And I also did a gauge swatch on this. So that is what it looks like knit up in stockinette. It's going to be nice. It feels nice and soft. Can I help you? Can I help you? I'm trying to do something here. Okay. Okay. What do you want? Not this one? Darth Vader. Um, so yeah, and so my gauge swatch, um, I also uh, got gauge with the recommended needle size, which is US size seven, 4.5 millimeter. And this is also on my uh, Knitter's Pride interchangeables. So hopefully I can cast that on also today just to kind of get it on the needles. Um, and this will live for now. I don't think it'll fit in here forever. In my procrastinating bag from Joanne Fabric, to defer all other activities besides knitting. I wish. Some days, yes. Some days, I have to be a responsible adult. Guys, that's it. Really short. Not a big deal. Um, Not a lot to show you. Sorry about that. But anyway, I should have a better episode next week when it's all about right back. I'm super excited. I also did a poll on Instagram. So I do think I'm, Liz, I do think I'm going to go with the, um, I'm going to knit a stone cutter. I, I decided to go with that because I've been wanting to knit it forever when people were knitting it like a year ago or however long ago, people, everyone was knitting a stone cutter. Um, and I really, really love that. So Lizzie lost her ball and then 
proceeded to, I proceeded to knock over my water, spill it everywhere. So anyway, no! Just trying to dig at the towel that's on the floor to soak up the water. So I really like that fisherman style sweater. Um, that is like a ton of cables. My husband voted for the other one. He said it was too busy for him, but the majority of you voted for Stonecutter and also I think that's the one that I was leading toward anyway. So, um, yeah, so my, that, where I was going with that is Rhinebeck. Um, on my Rhinebeck list is a, um, sweaters quantity of Stonecutter. Uh, sweaters quantity of yarn for Stonecutter. And, um, I also have a color in mind, so that's that and also I would like to get a um, set of sock blockers preferably wire in um, large because I have I have some they're plastic from knit picks and medium but I really like wire ones but I don't need medium so I'm gonna get large I knit my husband's socks and his would obviously fit on large so um, I may get those and that actually may be all the money that I have so <laughs> That may be all I have to show you next time. But I'll have lots of videos. We're going to go to the podcaster meetup. I don't remember what time it's at. It's after lunch-ish. One, two, I don't know. On the hill by the tree. So I'm definitely going to go to that. And then hopefully I'll have... Well, I'll definitely have some fun videos. Well, hopefully they're fun. There'll definitely be videos, but hopefully they're fun. That's it. Catch ya. On the flip side... I don't know how to do an outro. See you next time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Let me go. I don't want to be your hero. I don't want to be a big man. I just want to fight with everyone else. Your masquerade I don't want to be a part of your parade Everyone deserves a chance to Walk with everyone else While holding down A job to